It is May 29, 1965, and the Rocky Mountain Railroad Club members stand around the K-36 class loco, watching the servicing and switching as any rail fan would. The crisp morning air in Alamosa swells with a smell of steam. Is there anything else that could enliven the heart of a true rail fan? Locos number 480 to 489 were class K-36 engines. They were built by Baldwin in 1925. The Locos developed 36,200 pounds of tractive effort. Leaving Alamosa, black clouds of smoke greet the photographer as the train pulls out of the yard. At the south end of town, an old stone station was built to serve the railroad. Here, water and coal were also available for the Locos. The line then branched off to the west. The train passes through the Toltec Gorge region and the tracks open into a sweeping valley cut through by the Rio de los Pinos River. Snow has not yet melted at this 9,710 foot elevation. The portion of the line between Antonito and Chama is well known today for the Cumbres and Toltec thrills rail fans and many others each year as it makes its daily runs during the late spring through early fall. The railroad had to erect a bridge in the middle of the valley to cross the Los Pinos River. The tracks are almost level at this point, but soon the train will round a curve at the end of the valley and start its climb to the summit at Cumbres. Chama was a division point for the railroad. It served as a helper stop for trains heading toward Cumbres as well as a lumber town. Extensive train servicing could be completed here when necessary. At last, the train pulls into Durango. It's been a long day for the club members, and they look forward to a night's rest. K-28 class number 473 deadheaded the train back to Durango. The D and RGW had installed the old-time stacks on the Silverton line. They were actually spark arresters. 